Welcome to this episode of Last Epoch Explained. Now the loot filter is a bit complicated in most games, but in Last Epoch, I would say they solved it. It is as simplified and as straightforward and intuitive of a loot filter as you can possibly have. And it is beautiful. First, we'll be going over the most basic tutorial possible to show exactly how the loot filter works in Last Epoch, and then we'll go over a few tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I started playing. You will probably think back to this moment in a couple weeks, maybe a couple months after you start playing Last Epoch, and you'll be thinking, Rain, you glorious bastard, thank you so much, because I would have hated my life if I didn't find this video. So let's get straight into it. Now here we are in an endgame area on my level 84 lich. Now I already have a loot filter in place, but to show exactly how it all works, let's make a new loot filter together. Now you'll see on the ground that there's a various number of things. There are magic items, there are rare items, and there are affix shards. Now the affix shards and the glyphs, you generally just want to pick all those up, and what's nice about Last Epoch, you pick all of them up as soon as you click one of them, and you pick everything up in a large radius. Now, when it comes to sorting out loot in Last Epoch, it's very, very easy. In my opinion, generally, you almost never want to see magic items. And so if we go to our loot filter, let's add a rule to so that we never see magic items. Now, it may seem complicated, but I promise it's only a few clicks away. Add rule. We want to hide items with the rarities of normal and magic. Update, and it's done. And now you can see those blue items are no longer apparent. Now if we press the hotkey to deactivate the loot filter, we can see them show up again, but all magic and normal items will now never show up no matter where we are unless we want them to. So on my Lich build, I scale a lot of poison and necrotic damage, and oh my, where are my boots? Okay, let's just ignore that. Now let's make all items that have poison damage increases to them show up as green, and all items that have necrotic damage increases to them show up as teal. Now let's go to add rule. Let's go to recolor. Let's pick green for poison. And let's go to add condition. And now we want affix, because those are all the individual increases to your stats and your attributes found on items. And now we just type in poison damage and it shows up now any item with a poison damage affix on it will show up as a dark green color so we can go back to the ground and we can see nothing is recolored and so we know none of these have poison damage on them now let's do necrotic damage we go to add rule we go to recolor we go to teal we go to add condition affix we type in necrotic damage it's right there, we confirm. Now every item with a necrotic damage affix on it will show up as teal. And we can go back to the ground and we can see none of these items have been recolored. So none of them have either poison or necrotic damage on them. And that's apparent when we hover over them. Now let's say we wanna hide all items so that we can clean up the screen a bit visually. We'll go to add a new rule and we'll go to hide because that's what we want to do. And in this case, there are many different ways that we could do this, but I'll just do a very interesting case so that I can show just how flexible the loot filter in Last Epoch really is. We'll go to add condition. We'll go to rarity. So we are going to hide every kind of item in the game. No matter what rarity it is, we are going to hide it. So here we hide all items. And you can see there, nothing shows up anymore besides mandatory things that you wouldn't want to touch anyway. And when we turn off the loot filter, as you can see here, I'm pressing down my hotkey to turn off the loot filter temporarily. We can check and see it really does hide all items. But that's only because it's at the highest point in the loot filter. Now here's one of the nuances of the Last Epoch loot filter. If we add another rule and we show items with rarities magic, that rule that we just added overrules everything below it. So if we put this all the way at the bottom, we can see here that everything is hidden. But if we put show all magic items at the top, we can see here that all magic items are shown. Now here are the few tips and tricks that almost every build in the game, every player who plays Last Epoch will appreciate knowing. First, in your loot filter, you're going to want to add a few different rules. One of them is going to be recoloring all items with the hybrid health affix on them to green. And we want to do this 
so that no matter what we see that it has hybrid health. Because when we look at the crafting system and we can see the different amount of affix shards that we have available to craft with right here as this number. So I have 41 necrotic damage affix shards to craft with, 40 ward gained on potion use, 108 physical resistance, and 16 hybrid health. Now I only have this many hybrid health shards after playing a couple hundred hours on this account. And that's with this rule enabled because, because of this rune specifically, the rune of shattering. It destroys an item, creating a random number of affix shards containing its powers. So if we look at the affixes that are currently on this item, if we wanted more melee attack speed, or strength, or physical resistance shards, all we would do is put in the Rune of Shattering, Shatter, and we can see how many of those shards that we got. And we got a lot. We almost got maximum amount of shards. And the hybrid health affix is extremely rare, alongside a couple other affixes that we'll talk about. Now, the reason why we want to show all these hybrid health items as a different color so that we make sure and pick them up is so that we have enough hybrid health shards when we get into the late game. You'll want as many of as you can get because you're going to be crafting a lot in this game. So we want to be able to dismantle as many of these items as possible to get as many chances at more hybrid hybrid health shards as we can because you're not guaranteed a certain amount of shards from these items. Now are there are a couple more affixes that we want that are extremely rare as well. So let's make a couple duplicates of this rule. Now we want to recolor this next affix to red. I like to do personally for skill level affixes. Now in Last Epoch you're able to raise the level of certain skills to raise them above their maximum baseline which is 20. So for Acolyte specifically, my build utilizes Death Seal, Wandering Spirits, Ore of Decay, Reaper Form, and Spirit Plague. So let's say we want to have a higher level Spirit Plague because each skill point is worth a lot more than your average affix. We're gonna wanna look for our level of Spirit Plague. It's right here. We can also just type in very specifically level of Spirit Plague. And here it is, just by itself. Any item with level of Spirit Plague on it will now recolor as red. And we want to update this and now we'll see every item that drops with level of spirit plague now the reason why we want this as a rule in our loot filter is because regardless of what class you're playing on you will be able to drop any item that gives levels to any skill in the game and there are a lot of skills in the game and that also means that levels to skills that are relevant to you are extremely rare now with hybrid health shard affixes and level of spirit plague affixes being recolored we're going to be able to go through the game pick up all green and red items in this case and be able to dismantle them so that we can start banking up affix shards so that we can have more attempts at getting higher level affixes in the late game when we start crafting our own items. Now there's one more affix that I like to do personally and that is leech rate. I like to recolor them like a yellow orange-ish because there's almost no other way to get leech rate in the game. It's an extremely rare affix right alongside hybrid health. It can't go on very many items. There aren't very many sources of it throughout the entire game. And you definitely want it if you utilize that kind of mechanic. Now, again, you want to make sure that your hybrid health, your levels of whatever relevant skills on your build you want, and leech rate are all colored differently so that you'll be able to dismantle them in the forge system in the game with the Rune of Shattering. Now you may not understand just how useful the information you just received was. Irregardless, you're welcome. I'll see you in the next one.